So welcome to practice. My name is Elizabeth and I will be guiding you through a chair yoga practice today. We just want to make sure that we have a chair with no arms and a nice tall long back behind us. And we'll start seated on the chair, just allowing yourself to go ahead and lean back. So go ahead and lean back into the back edge of the chair for now so that we're not holding stress in our low spine. And let's turn our palms up to begin. With our palms up, we're just offering a little bit of relaxed energy in our body, a little bit more of an intuitive sense to be receptive to any movements or sensations that arise in our practice. And let's start with a nice big inhale breath in through our nose. And we're going to exhale to release out through our mouth. And if we want to take this one more time, again, inhale breath in. And exhale breath out. Good. Feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze. And just give yourself a few moments to feel this lean back. Check in with how your skull feels, where your shoulders are resting. And if you can feel if you're taking any tension or resistance in your neck, your low back, or your hips at the beginning of this practice. Let's just assess our baseline so that we can return to an assessment at the end of practice, checking in if we made any bit more space or any bit of progress in relaxation. Start to feel your breath moving smoothly now, a more yogic breath in through your nose and perhaps also out through your nose. And because we may have just come from working away, we might find that the backs of the eyes or the jaw are a little resistant to softening. So see if you can draw your attention to relaxing the backs of the eyelids. Softening at the cheekbones. And then potentially allowing your tongue to move away from the roof of your mouth. Easing in the jawline. As we start to feel that ease come into the body, let's take one hand to our belly and the other hand to our heart space. And just give yourself a moment of gratitude here at the beginning of your practice. Gratitude for showing up. Gratitude for whatever space arises. Find a big breath together and inhale. And exhale to release. Beautiful. Let your arms come down by your sides and perhaps allow your eyes to flutter open, letting some light in. And we can either hold on to the edge of the chair or just let our hand stay relaxed. We'll take opposite arm and find a nice side body stretch up and over. Doesn't matter which side, we'll always go both. And just start to assess where your weight is. Sometimes this can be more challenging sitting in a chair. You're feeling like your sitting bone wants to lift off of the chair on that opposite side. See if you can check in with where your heel is and your hip is on the opposing side that you're stretching away from. Watching that your heel doesn't start to float away from you. And then we'll connect with an inhale breath to pull us back up through the center, releasing that arm and gently switching. Another inhale to reach up and over the other way. 
Again, two options, either holding the chair or letting your arm just be released by your side. Your gaze can go wherever it feels best. So it might feel really nice for you to look up. If that's too much, perhaps looking forward or down. You can always explore that space. There is no reason to have the position and hold it completely fixed. So feel free to just move any way that feels right. See again if you can connect to an inhale breath to draw you back up through the center and let's send both arms high here. Inhale, reach up and take your gaze up. Let's let palms face one another and see if you can ground through your feet again, spreading through your toes. Start to root down, pushing your feet into the floor. So almost we have a sensation like our knees are trying to draw back or our hamstrings are trying to lift off of our seat. We'll give it one more breath. Let's let palms face forward as we take our gaze forward. Good. And then bending your elbows, finding a nice cactus position. Wonderful. With your arms and cactus, draw them back behind your periphery. So if we keep our gaze forward, our arms kind of lose sight. Right? And depending on the space that we have behind us on this chair, how high or how low it is, we can lean back into it if we've leaned forward and allow a little bit of a back bend to occur. So just lifting your gaze, letting your arms draw back leaning over the chair, however small of an amount that is for you, just beginning to come into contact with the back of the chair and feel that spaciousness across the collarbone from elbow to elbow. Let's give it one more breath. Again, connect to your core and your belly. Use it. Inhale to draw your back up through the center. And exhale, bend your elbows again, pulling them in by your sides. Good. So we have our arms a little bit more in like a W shape now, with fingers still trying to reach out by our sides. Good. And then we'll walk our feet outwards in space, opening up, just taking some room here. And if you feel like you need to shift, getting comfortable in your sitting bones, you can make that happen for yourself. We'll breathe open and inhale, big reach outwards in space. And then exhale, pull back in. Two more times. Inhale, breath, reach. Exhale, to draw in. And one more time. Expand. And pull. Beautiful. Reach back out again. Big reach out by your side. And then let's turn our palms backwards in space. So we've got our thumbs facing down. Good. Now, oftentimes when we do this, our arms are a little bit up here by our shoulders. So see if you can drop down. Yes. Aligning your thumbs with the underside of your armpit. And then to work through your scapula, start pulsing your hands backwards in space. So if there was an imaginary wall behind us, we would be going ahead and just tapping that wall, tiny little touches. So you're going to start to feel the backs of your shoulders engaging. So if we're often sitting at a desk and we recognize within ourselves that our shoulders are slouching forward, we're kind of getting that hunchback feeling, this is a really great exercise to just reawaken the muscles behind you. By right, building up a little bit of heat, let's take just a few last pulses. And then pause, pressing back. Again, see how far you can press back, how far you can take your arms behind the periphery. One last breath. Good, turn your palms back upwards in space, and let's take a big breath high. And exhale to draw hands in towards heart center. Beautiful. Feel your shoulders here relax. Maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze. And just feel all that heat that you built softening. Shoulders are drawing a little bit away from the ears. Maybe we can feel blood rush back into our hands. A little bit of a temperature change. And 
And when you feel ready, we'll just let our hands come towards our thighs, palms face down this time. And then slide our hands towards our knees as we begin to lean forward in space. So you're pitching forward and we're allowing our shoulders to come up. And so oftentimes in yoga, it's always shoulders down. But here, shoulders up by your ears as you press into the tops of your legs, making space across the front plane. If we lock out our arms here, lengthening through our arms, feeling the shoulder shrug, there's going to be a little bit of a decompression happening in the back. So some traction will happen in the low spine. You feel our tailbone releasing and dropping. Just see if you can send your breath deep down into your pelvis. And we can check in with that by assessing whether we're squeezing our glutes or not. So we want to try to relax our glute muscles here, softening your tail. One more breath. And we can lean back just enough to make an adjustment to twist into one side. So we take one shoulder down, find a little bit of rotation in the back, let that shoulder and same ear feel like it's working to fold forward to center. And then play with that space, inhale, pass back through to center and switch going the opposite direction. So there's no set time here. Just begin to explore that from side to side. Inhale, passing center. Exhaling to switch. And checking in with that rotation in your back. Maybe one side feels a little bit better than the other. Let's give ourselves a few last seconds. And then begin to make your way back through the center. So finding your way back through midline, lean back again, and let's walk our feet back in towards the center. Good. Again, palms face up. Lean back into your chair. Feel your shoulder blades connect with your back. And potentially, once again, close your eyes or soften your gaze and just tune in those few exercises that we did, how that might have changed the length in your spine or the awareness that you have in your back. Tuning back into the softness in your face. Ease at the cheekbones. And release at the jawline, relaxing the bite surfaces of the teeth apart from one another. And we can again, in our own time, let our eyes flutter back open. And we'll work here, staying facing forward, just turning your palms down and then beginning to wake the ankles. So from this position, just flex at your feet, lifting your toes and then relax back down. Easy, flex and release. Few times. Again, that can be maybe something that we don't often do, but that small little movement, just bringing enough awareness into the front of the shins, front of the ankles. And that also in flexion connects to our core line. So we're asking our body to stabilize through the intrinsic core. Take it one more time in the flexion and then hold the flexion. See how high you can lift your toes, how much you can spread your toes and just hold that flexion, seeing where the sensation lies for you. Is it in the shin? 
Is it at the knee or the thigh? Maybe you feel it in your hips. Whatever it is, one last breath just to assess and then relax. Good, go the other way. Press through the balls of your feet and let your heels lift. And we'll just hold that space once. So it's almost like we put on high heels. Heels rising high, engaging the backs of the calves. Feel that squeeze back of the calf. Maybe you feel underneath you, your hamstring or your glutes again, activating. And we'll give that one last breath. And then exhale again, softly release. Good. Pulling one knee in towards you. So we'll draw one knee in, interlacing our hand and just picking that leg up ahead of us. Now it doesn't have to be high. And we want to keep it just nice and easy. Roll through that ankle a few times. One direction. And then maybe roll out the other way. Letting go of any kinks or knots there. Good. And then go back to that flexed position. And let's see if we can connect to our spine. So if you feel at all like you slouched, sit tall, shoulders back. We'll take our hands away and see if we can reach arms out into a T and keep the leg lifted. So now your hamstring and your quad are having to work quite hard. Give this one more breath. As you exhale, we'll take hands under the leg. So back of the knee interlaced, and we'll work to send that foot forward ahead of us, taking a little stretch in the hamstring. Now, it doesn't have to be high. I just work on pressing forward to the best of your ability. Again, flex at the ankle, toes are pulling back towards you. One more breath. And then as you re-bend, Let's go ahead and pick up the ankle and cross over the opposing knee. Wonderful. All right, so from here, we can sit up, taking our back off of the chair. Again, if you need a little readjustment, set yourself so that your sitting bones feel quite grounded. Flexing at the ankle, sitting tall, either hands towards the knee and your heel or onto your chair. Allow yourself to shift forward. So we start to feel that stretch in the outer hip that we're folding over. Taking your time here. Following your breath, following your exhales, and just observing that perhaps with each exhale you feel like there's a tiny bit more space that can be made. So at this point, we have a long spine still and our shoulders are pulled back and the work is all hinging from the waist. So let's see if we can allow ourselves to curve into this to achieve a little bit more room in our back. So let your arms come down by your sides and then think of cat pose where you're drawing your chin in towards your chest and you're going to allow yourself to curve in your back, shoulders scoop and around and you're letting yourself be fully weighted here. If pronunciation might arise, Perhaps this feels much deeper for you. Just a few last breaths. And then begin to connect with your back, pulling yourself back up gently, rolling through your spine, one vertebrae at a time as best as you can, sitting up. Let's take shoulders up by the ears. And loop we'll back to me. One. All right, so now with this leg quite open, we're going to take it down, but we'll take it down towards the side. Okay, so as you release, open up your hip 
So now you've got your legs in a 90 degree angle from one another, but we're facing the corner. Okay? And then this back leg that we had our foot on the floor, we're going to walk it back behind us and see if we can make our way to a warrior two position. That's it. So it will take some readjusting. You want the seat of the chair underneath your thigh, so right under the hamstring. Right? And once you find that, reaching open and taking your gaze over your front fingertips, finding your drishti as you gaze forward. Taking one more moment here. We'll turn that front palm up and let ourselves lean back. So, so we're taking an exalted warrior, a little bit of a reach. Again, gaze up might be too much. So if you want to look down or to your side, play with the space that you're looking in. And then we want to connect once more to our side waist. So we're pulling ourselves back up and we can send our elbow to our knee and reach in opposition, finding that extended angle pose. Okay. Let's watch the shoulder here that we're leaning into, that we don't sink into it. Yes, so we're maintaining that push as we reach so the neck stays long and free. few more big breaths here. Connecting to your sideways, pull yourself back up on an inhale, and then just release, taking your hands to the front of the chair so we can again readjust and walking feet back from the center. Wonderful. Give yourself whatever little movement you need there. And we'll take the second side. So again, work on leaning back so that we don't have tension in our low back. And we'll take the opposite leg. So opposite knee up, interlacing hands in front of the knee or just in front of the shin. Good, flexing at the ankle and then working on rolling through that ankle space. A few times one way. And then reverse it when you're ready. Coming back to a flexed position, finding the strength, slowly release your hands, reach out, lean back into your chair and see if you can hold that flexion. Okay. Gotta find strength. Sometimes we just do all this flexibility in yoga and we forget that strength is also super important. One more breath. Okay, take your hands back underneath, reaching to interlace under the back of the hamstring, back of the knee, and then extend your leg forward. Good. Flexing at your toes, pulling them towards you. Deep stretch in the back of the calf, the back of the hamstring. Last breath. As you rebend, again, we'll adjust. You can control, stack over, and then once more, give yourself a little wiggle so you feel comfortable in your next toss. Hands to knee and heel, or down by your sides. Think of that long spine first. So upwards in space on inhale breath, and then just hinging at the waist forward. So you want to keep shoulders back and chest broad. It could be helpful to imagine your heart space or your chest really wanting to lean forward or reach forward. Give yourself some time to ask whether this side feels like it has more or less sensation. The more we practice, the more intuitive we get. 
the more knowledgeable we become about our own bodies to maybe have answers to why one side might be a little different. So if we want to go for that rounded feeling, we can let hands again draw down by our sides. Chin pulls in towards chest and we can just begin to curve through the back, letting everything be heavy as we fold. Feeling here release. So we're trying not to hold on to shoulders or neck. Maybe even let your head do a little shake. No, to find that release. And sending those few deep breaths into mid back and low back. As we're ready, we roll back up through our spine, engaging our back one vertebrae at a time and coming up. We still to see. Feel how spacious and tall you are. Shoulders up by your ears, inhale. Exhale a little bit back, relax. Good, so now this folded leg opens out by our side. Again, we turn our body so that we have ourselves set up, ankle underneath knee. And then that back leg begins to walk away. Maybe we shift a little bit back in the chair in order to make that space happen. Once we feel like we're supported, the chair is holding ourselves up under the pelvis, underneath the hamstring. Arms reach open and gaze forward and past our fingertips. And do your best to maintain the length in that back leg. So back leg is still pressing through outer edge of the foot, pinky toe edge, trying to push down, or roll down towards the floor. And we'll turn that front palm up and begin to take a nice big reach back. Choosing your gaze. And watching that the hand that's behind you isn't pressing and buckling at the back knee. So see if you can just have it lightly above or below the knee space. We want to connect with an inhale, and that's going to pull us back up gently so we can reverse our efforts, elbow to knee, opposite arm overhead, getting the sense that there's a long line happening here from top fingertips all the way down to that extended leg. Beautiful. One last little space. Using your inhale once more, drawing it up, back through the center. Good. We'll release our hands back forward in front of us. And then once more, just shift, walking feet back through towards center. Taking that wiggle so your sitting bones are underneath. Let's find a gentle twist. So if you do have the grid in the back of your chair, you may be able to slide your hand through to hold on, or we can reach over the chair. Just find a way that makes sense for you to take one hand to opposite knee, and then rotate, opening your chest and gazing over that back shoulder. You're doing your best to ground through sitting bones, ground through your feet, Feel length in your spine and follow your breath. So your exhales allow you to find more space. You can connect with your next inhale as it happens to come back through the center. And then gently set yourself up on the other side, rotating the other way. Again, first think about taking an inhale to lengthen the spine, and then exhale, begin to make rotation. Let's 
Just give us one last breath here as well. Gently come on back through the center. Good. And then with your hands on your knees here, good. allow your head to release. Just stretching high up in the space behind your neck and shoulders. Okay. And then slowly we'll allow our hands to start sliding down forward in front of the shins as again we think about that curve taking our time with this and then eventually once you feel like you're in a fold you can let your hands come down by the sides of your feet maybe or hanging with the arms perhaps fingertips are touching just letting yourself find a deep hold here very close feeling to child's pose. Find one more deep breath into your low back, mid back. And then again, grounding first through your feet, pushing into the floor, engaging your legs, starting to stack yourself back up to a nice long, tall seat. Once we're high again, shoulders up. And exhale to release. Good. Okay, let's come off of the chair. And once you make your way up, we're just going to readjust so that we find the back of the chair where we have our hands on top and we're gonna allow ourselves to walk back in space. Okay, so we're finding an L shape here in your back where we've got fingers spread nice and wide, give a little bit of a bend to your knees and you're allowing your head and your heart to try drawing through your arms so we get quite a similar sensation to downward facing dog without all the pressure on the ribs. Let's take five breaths here. Sending energy into your heels, into your tailbone. And we'll press into our hands, pulling yourself up, and then gently walk your way closer to the chair. Make sure that you're giving yourself a moment to just take some oxygen in. Inhale, big breath through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Okay. One more, very similar. This time you're going to get your elbows to connect to the back of the chair. So we're walking back again. And hands now are in a prayer position. As we go back into that L shape, this time we keep edges of our elbows on the chair and feel like maybe our hands are just pointing up to the ceiling or perhaps they're pulling all the way in towards the back of the neck. We might feel here a little deeper of a stretch in the triceps or underneath the shoulder blades in the lat muscles. that one last breath and then again pull the ribs up engage your core walk your feet in closer so you feel stable enough to come off of your elbows and we'll take hands again to the back of the chair as we stand tall and with hands on that back chair let your shoulders loop up and back and let's go the other way 
Looping shoulders back, taking your gaze up. Doesn't have to be a big back bend, just a tiny little look up with hands here on the chair for support. Connect again with the inhale. That's going to pull you back up through the center. And then maybe just take a moment, making sure you've got oxygen and your vision with you. All right, and then choosing one side, allow yourself to turn so that your hip is facing the chair. Right? And then we'll go ahead and just step away a little bit from it and allow that free arm to take a side body stretch. So we're reaching up again. So we've done this seated. Now we're just finding a little bit more engagement, standing. Use your inhale to come on back up through the center. Exhale, release your arm. And to just make it a little bit deeper, if we feel okay with that, you'll go ahead and cross your leg over to the outside. So the leg that's closest to the chair is going away from the chair. And we'll lean one more time, up and over, deepening the stretch. Beautiful. Making your way back up, inhale, and exhale to release. Gently turning around, finding the other side. First, both feet stable, parallel underneath your sitting bones. Free arm reaches up and over. Nice rainbowed arc sensation here. You can inhale, draw ourselves back up. Exhale, release. And again, if you want to make it just a bit deeper, leg that's closest to the chair crosses in front of your supporting leg. And we take that stretch once more towards the chair, deepening the stretch in the psoas. Using your inhale, pull you back up through the center. Again, planting both of your feet, finding a moment to ground. And then as you're ready, we'll go ahead and readjust our seats to come back to our seated position to finish. Good. So once you sit back down, decide for yourself now how your back and your pelvis feels. If you prefer to have your feet hip distance apart, or if it feels more natural for you to take a bit of space. For me, this makes more sense, so I'm going to stay here. Okay. Last little bit in the shoulders. We'll let one ear drop to the opposite shoulder, or I'm sorry, same side. So if it's right to right or left to left, and you're going to take that hand and just go ahead and reach for your ear on the opposite side and let that free arm reach down in a diagonal. So we have a long stretch happening from the back of the ear, down the neck, across the collarbone, down the arm, all the way to fingertips. Feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze if that's helpful. And then maintaining the work on this side, the hand that's connected to your ear just lifts enough that you can turn your gaze down. So now we're looking at our armpit or towards our hip, and our hand is a little bit rested more towards the back of the skull. As we let our hand rest, we'll feel again that deeper stretch. Rather than a stretch coming from the ear, now it's coming from the base of the skull, down towards the trap muscle, into the back of the shoulder blade. Good. 
when you feel ready to finish, just allow your hands to both rest on your thighs and let your head start taking a half circle the other way and a half circle back. One or two times, loosening up the stretch. And then eventually just stopping at center where you're facing your belly button and slowly let your skull stack coming back up the midline. Beautiful. My last side, opposite ear to shoulder. Taking your hand again, reaching for your ear or temple, and we'll send that free arm out by our side. And we want to make sure that that arm that's reaching has engagement through fingertips to really feel the sense that it's lengthening away from the socket. Last moment, we can let the hand that's that ear and temple lift enough to turn our gaze down towards hip, towards shoulder, realign your hand towards the back of the skull. It isn't a pull, it's just a gentle hold. One last breath. Keep your head as it is. Just again, release hands towards thighs and take the head to take a half circle. A few times each way. Let it go. If you feel like taking a full circle, Feel free to make that an option for yourself. If you are doing that, try both directions just once. And then again, let your head draw through center and slowly stack to return back up the midline. Wonderful. Shoulders up by your ears. Inhale, breath. And exhale to breathe. Decide to keep your legs as so or walk them in a little closer if you prefer to finish. We'll turn our palms face up once again. And instead of keeping yourself upright on your own and working in your low back, allow yourself to keep length but lean back. So go ahead and take your weight back to that chair if you were shifted forward. And either palms face up or maybe one hand in the other on your lap. Nice easy rest for your shoulders. Let's allow our eyes to close or gaze to drop down past the tip of your nose. And take a few deep breaths here to settle your energy. If you feel like you were breathing high up in your chest, Doing your best to take your time and let your breath draw down towards your belly. Taking a body scan, observe how your feet Feel quite rooted. Backs of your thighs pressing against the chair, making a connection all the way to your sitting bones. Feel the support from the chair underneath you. We have support from the chair behind us. 
shoulders have that ability to broaden so our breath can be spacious. And the muscles of the arms and the face are just finding ease and simplicity. Stick one hand back to our belly and the other hand back to our heart space. Maybe this time we can tune into our heart beating. We can feel gentle little pulses in our muscles that are now awakened. These tiny little vibrations from within, from the root, at our pelvis, all the way up our spine towards the top of our head. Leaving us a little more spacious, a little more alert, and perhaps calm in the mind. Let's take one last big breath here together. Inhale. And exhale the release. Thank you for practice. Namaste.